Cast on lanes, Rex size looking into bottom, searing his options. Good might go for something early here as well. He's going to get the Umbara under Key as well. He does get locked up in that one. Make it rain comes down and the flash is forward for Key. He's trying to get the heck out. Looks like he'll Tani just get the Tani the advantage there. It's pretty even across the board. Oh, Cataclysm being used there by Crazy to try and close the game. Just going in for the Cataclysm. TCT trying to catch up Loken there as well. He does get rooted in place, but it was a good head up, head butt from Key. And that is a little bit. I think troubling for a team like Ever, who maybe needs to make the first point, but we'll look as he, Loken is looking for TNT. Jumps for the flash, though. Yeah, rocket jump. No, and the real big issue here is QG are going to start a very aggressive in bot, Baron. Doesn't have teleport. Oh, boy. Not to worry. There's the Chaos Storm onto Ares. He might just go down, and this one, he's burning away just a little. As they, unless they expect Crazy to actually be able to pull off and engage, but two out of two times that he's, he's trying to achieve with that one. TCT might be caught here as well. He's got to be careful. Athena will be able to jump on him, but Swift never too far away to assist. The Crazy wants a bit to flash out straight away. The flag and drag comes through. TCT, he somehow just goes down, but it took a lot of damage to do it. And there, damage being traded out on towards the side. It's Loken forcing to flash over. Even the best situation for ever just didn't happen to have enough. Doing B will finally oh. get shut down, but a full channel of bullet time again. Lulu's not going to be able to get there fast enough. In the top lane, we see the 1v1 should favor the turret coming down. Will there be more, though? Oh, Loki, and he goes in exhausted, but he has enough damage. Or does he? Knocked up, knocked back. He just can't get in there in time. And TCT, he saves the day this one. And he's got cooldowns up very soon as well. He won't be able to be killed by Loki, so he can just belt him around the head parts until he does actually fall over. It's going to be a rocket jump away for Loki to keep him, keep him on his feet, at least. That's an insane play from both parts. The flash from TNT to stop there being a second auto attack to take him down. Kept himself alive. Live, and then Loka managed to buy space. Oh my. The uh, Swift now failing his flash here as he tries to get out of the pit and it's not going to be long before he is converged upon. QG now starting to make some errors, stumbling a little bit into 1B. He's going to be caught by the chains of corruptions. Oh, the knock-up on the two is just perfect. And Ares is going to make life very, very hard for V, who at least can dash away. Q. That's two down for QG. And there's the snipe finish, Athena. They are looking for it indeed. And with three members down still on the side of Ever, Swift checks a little bit face forward, and Loken will plant a bomb right in front of him. Swift and Doombi are a little low here, but they can collapse in, and in goes TCT. Flash pulverized. The hip-hop was beautiful. I think goes back on. So far behind on the gold game either as Loken jumps in for TNT, and Whoa. that's all she wrote. It was on the back for what, three minutes ago, and the game is over. Double AD and Trundle is disgusting in the pushing game. And they've just pushed everything. This is and the next is now being contested as CQG are trying to hold on as much as they can. Grand Challenge coming down. Ares will still survive through that, though. And look at this. TNT is out towards the edge. Doing B as well. So, uh, QG holding on for the Just moment. Barely, it's all Swift. He's got to stay alive. No, oh. he can't do it. And the Crazy. next will fall. Crazy does it out of nowhere. Enough for him, and he's managed to get far enough away. The crazy might have other things in mind. He wants to lock someone down as he goes straight towards Swift. Looking for even more here. Teleport's coming in, and Crazy's just bailing on out. QG look to try to turn this around. No one's gone down so far. Aries stunned against the wall, but Key gets a massive knock up on everybody right into the chain. Chains of corruption come out. Key will eventually fall. Aries is not going to be too far behind. He has to back off, and V is going to flash out in front of him. Double kill for TNT. Point and take care of that one, of course. Now, as Crazy as well is going to be chased on down. TNT, another one for him would be devastating for a team of Ever who've been trying to shut that flash on Burrow. See a lot of potential flanks coming through this risky play from Ever. He a little bit caught there. Spooky goes for the Swift. Got himself into the mix here. But at what cost? Who's going to follow up in it here? Grand challenge towards Key. He's definitely in the middle of it. TCT as well got locked up there with a frozen two. Key will just drop there. Doon B will be the one to come away with the credit for that one. And Ares now forced to flash it towards the back line. That Mundo isn't really getting to go where he pleases. And Loken, again, we've seen this before. It's happening all over again. Come for the resets are good and there we go the clean up the only real difference that we're seeing in their play is that they are just choosing the fights a little bit smarter they have the positioning and they know how to use it but qg oh. are not going to give up that easily a lot of damage dealt back to them though casual 60 percent of a health they prioritize this tristana it does so much damage to take these turrets down the moment the front line is able to do enough athena has not been in trouble for some time now three one and four fantastic on this varus and you can see why they take it. That's why they pick, and that's all that ever need to push forward. It, again, and look crazy coming forward. Frozen 2 towards Doi B. Be there. 
And we've seen this before, but now on the bot lane, it's going to be TNT forced to rocket jump away, and CCT caught in the mix a little bit here as well. Of course, tanking is not really available to him now. Hasn't hit that six, but a teleport coming in behind. ESC went so deep on the bot lane, this might turn against them. Looking for key, but in comes Ares this time. Another teleport, a double teleport. They want to make this a fast one, a full team fight to start it off as Crazy goes around the side. Twin B gets blown up, and now TNT is jumping through to look for Crazy. Turns his attention back to key as V is right there. Can they finish the fight? Looks like it's going to be the disengage. But uh, Crazy, though, is caught here a little bit. He's got to get away, and V is there with a dredge line, and there's a ring of frost, but the knock-up comes Crazy in the wrong place at the wrong time. Oh. He's gifted the key over to TNT, one that I guess he had no business even oh, getting. In the himself. bottom side now, trying to push the low health members off. Ares comes in here looking for Twin B. He's ignited. He's not got anywhere to go, and Athena will pick him up. There's the jungle pressure. We himself, like... perhaps, but at least just showing... His presence was there as well. That information towards ESC, but now TNT caught up there by that pillar of frost. And Loken coming forward. Spell shield was expended as well. And there, no mana for Loken as well. He got exhausted. And V now in the middle of this one, out towards the back. TNT going low, but the heal is going to keep him alive. Ares instead gets turned on. He drops down, and again, ESC have to back away. Again, they've made a fight, but they cannot win. They just keep dropping everything on ESC. QG Reapers pick up a triple kill on the Nidalee. It's happening. And just can't hold a candle to the Sivir. Oh, right. that is going to be... Super Minion's going to keep pushing into mid. There's only so long Ever can stay here. So he's going in, though. So here's the fight, and it's going to be Ares just knocked back again. The headbutt's a bit on point from TCT. A frozen two for Crazy. He gets himself in the middle. Good disruption, but it's going to get splattered there. The double kill for TNT, and they're going to continue to come forward. TNT goes low, but he doesn't care. He's going to get yet another one, a triple for the man. And, of course, Swift getting involved where he had to. Dornby will fall, sadly enough, towards... Missing it. Like, there's not much to say there. That was just... That's Doyen B, right? You get the good and the bad. We saw him run around on Victor do some amazing things. Speaking of engages, though. Swift was waiting in the wings for this one. TNT took already quite a lot of damage from Loken, and it looks like he wants to linger. It's an exhaust on towards Key. Fate's call, and he'll throw him back. Pressure towards... has meant that Lulu is a hind. But ahead, but it's only a temporary thing as Ares. Getting caught out a little bit there. Forced to use the Sadism, but again coming forward. It's a petrifying gaze. Again, not used front on, but Key gets a massive knockup. Four people go up, but the grand challenge is laid down, and Swift is trying to scuff the way, but he's got two behind. Him. Crazy gets the rape here in. Dornby up around the side and TCT. They fancy a re-engage. Not a terrible idea. Athena might be caught, but a fate's call from Key. Gets the double knockup. Make it another knockup. This guy's been knocking people left, right, and center. But Dornby, he's caught out of position. He's actually trying to stay back up, and it's only here and the battle star there. The dragon does go over, but there might be a fight on the back of it. But where is the rest of the SC? Key goes forward, realizing there's no one there to join him, and he's gonna have to pulverize down to get himself out. But there comes a pillar of frost. Down, it's gonna multiple flashes down. Come and fight us at Baron, because we've got all the answers. Crazy is played. 20 seconds away from being on this map here. ESC will be crazy to try and fight it, but maybe that's what's going to happen. It's a petrified gate. It's Swift coming forward. TNT jumping on in, and Loki gets blown the heck up. The double kill, though, is going to be coming out from Athena. He got there, and maybe the chase is on. Do it, be pinned up against the wall. Key is going to get rough and tumble on towards her Cassiopeia, and Athena wants to chase this one as well. Misses the overload, but does get close enough. The there never needs to be a 5v5 fight. It could just be a pick, and the game's over. And maybe that's exactly what we're going to see here. Fate's call comes in and gets two. Beautiful headbutt from Key, and that's going to isolate Do and V. Oh, my Lord. TNT is going to go down as well. TCT trying to back away. Double kill for Loken now, and the damage just keeps coming. And they can't roll with the punches.